BruceDude.com. The last thing I wanted as a kid was a big ass pair of glasses hanging off my face. Which is unfortunate when you just so happen to be blind as shit as a kid. I was so blind, you know the big E on the seeing eye charts? Yeah, I couldn't even see that bitch. Be playing a little league as a kid, be all the way out in the outfield, couldn't see shit. Be like, hey guys, are we still playing? In school was even worse. The teacher would be like, do all these math problems on the chalkboard. And of course, I'm sitting 100,000 miles away, practically in the fucking hallway. Like, there's a chalkboard in here? My parents would take me to the doctor and they'd be like, our kid keeps running into walls. Uh, we think he's autistic? And the doctor's like, well, he's not autistic. He just can't fucking see anything. Why doesn't he have glasses yet? And I was like, shut your mouth, old man. I don't want any of these goddamn glasses. When they test our vision in school, I would just wait and have a bunch of kids go ahead of me and just memorize what they would say when they'd read off the chart. Next person, <clears throat> E-Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T, boom, you can all suck it, I can see just fine. Uh, the chart's over there. So I go to the shitty ass eye doctor, and if you've never been to the eye doctor before, then you don't know what hell on earth is. And one of the first tests they put you through is for glaucoma, and the doctor's like, just put your chin up on this machine here, and we're gonna shoot a little puff of air into your eyeball. Okay, you'll barely feel anything. <laughs> All right, let's do the next eye. And then they throw their uh, torture chamber device on your head. Start making you read stuff. All right, tell me what you see. Like, well, I still don't fucking see anything, but I feel obligated to at least make a guess. Like I'm playing some shitty carnival game. Like they're gonna give me an oversized stuffed gorilla if I get them all right. I'm like, uh, M, a lowercase Q, the at symbol, uh, a Goomba from Super Mario World. How am I doing, Doc? You got them all right. Hey! No, not even close. I was clearly blind as shit. So they put me out in the waiting room and I'm looking at all these frames on the wall and I'm thinking, well, if I gotta wear glasses, I might as well go for the Jeff Goldblum look because uh, because he was fly as shit. And the doctor's like, easy there, Sonny. Your family's insurance only covers these frames. And he points to one lonely shelf. It's filled with the most hideous glasses you've ever seen in your life. Ones with double bridge frames in there. So your glasses won't break when the kids throw rocks at you. Glasses that would be bigger than kids book bags at school. I can't feel my nose. Well, that's because your fucking glasses are 14 pounds. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot, doc. I said, uh, I said Jeff Goldblum, not fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm not wearing these glasses, mom and dad. I'm gonna get kicked in the balls. Zachary gets kicked in the balls every day at school. Fuck that. I'll keep catching baseballs with my face before that happens. My parents are over there trying to make me feel better. Well, you definitely look a lot smarter. No, I look like I'm gonna get my ass beat at school is what I look like, mom. But I did wear them outside of school because it was actually pretty nice to see things every once in a while. Everything didn't look like Nintendo 64 graphics anymore. Everything's so vivid. I didn't even recognize my friends the first time I seen them again. Man, you guys look different! We're in the car ride home. I'm looking out the window reading everything that I can. That sign says stop. That sign says speed limit 25. That sign says shut the fuck up! Okay, we get it. You can see again, telescope eyes. It's no big deal. Why don't you go read yourself a book? with your Judge Judy looking ass.